Hello there, I'm Kenny Graves, and on the phone with me right now, she is president and co-founder of Canyon Star TV, as something I feel like we need in our culture right now. It is Kelly Kantz. Kelly, how are you this morning? I am fantastic. I'm happy to hear from you in Texas, because I'm actually a Dallas girl. Oh, really? Well... Once a Texan, always a Texan. So That's the truth. Glad to have you on, ma'am. How did the idea for Canyon Star TV come about? Well, you know, Joey Canyon um, has had an idea to create a network for many years, five or six years. Um, I put his show on a network called RFD TV. We remained friends for many, many years, and he talked about it and started getting more and more serious. And I told him, whenever you're ready... Let me know and we'll do it. When you drive a Ford truck, there's strength in numbers. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 straight years and the best in Texas. Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty offer the strength to help you be at your very best. Drive one today at your best in Texas Ford dealer. There's a great selection in stock based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. Ford is the best in Texas. And so we've done it. And we've taken a lot of hard work, but uh, the infrastructure of getting it done, Joey is the one who's over there doing all the hard work, trying to, you know, get the money, trying to get everything we need financially, accounting, employees, all those kind of things. And I'm the girl that's designing the site, putting up the programming, making the deals with the programmers, um, and um, having relationships with the programmers and excited that they come on board for us. Well, and you said it launched in January, correct? Yes, sir. At the end of January, we launched. And uh, at this point, we are over 700 different shows and thousands and thousands and thousands of episodes. Excellent. Well, how would you describe the mission statement of Canyon Star TV? Well, first of all, I think that we are a family network. We needed something positive, something that kids can sit in front of if they're at their parents' house or if they even want to watch cartoons. We have kids programming. Um, it is a network that's family friendly. You're not going to hear a bad word on it. You're not going to see any sexual innuendos. Uh, we do have some real TV programming. We're not calling it reality because it's, it's all good family programming. Um, we, we want it to be something that's not out there right now. I mean, uh, there's so much controversy on TV anymore. And, you know, not that you know, if you want to watch it, that's great, but we want to be able to give people the opportunity to watch programming that's pretty wholesome and that's good and, um, you know, is is viable programming that sometimes maybe gets forgotten because the big guys don't want it or because, um, you know, you have independents out there that have programming maybe even in just their state or their county or their region. And it's nice to be able to give some of these programmers the opportunity to get out there on a national, worldwide basis. A family viewing alternative. That's correct. Oh, that's great. I, I, like I told you, starting out, this is something I feel our society really, really needs. How can folks find and get Canyon Star TV on their device? Well, they can get it on anything that has a screen, phone, computer, iPad, um, We are on Roku, Google Play, Amazon Fire. Uh, We'll be adding more and more places um, soon. But um, that's that's where we're starting pretty now on the basics and hoping to grow it. Well, since you are neck deep into programming right now, talk about some of the family programming viewers can find on the platform. Well, there are tons of genres, tons. So we have some family movies. Um, that are really great. Founder, for instance, is a really great movie. We have TV documentaries on Elvis, Paul McCartney, Hank Williams, Beatles, ABBA. I mean, there, we have quite a few uh, documentaries. We have animal programming, a lot of cooking programming. If you like cooking, this is where to go. Uh, we have a lot of entertainment programming, a lot of traditional country music programming, some morning shows, uh, great interview shows. There's a show on there with Ronnie McDowell 
country artists who uh, the art of the song, for instance, and where these songs came from. Um, entertainment programming, lifestyle programming, we have a lot of music. So you get a wide variety of traditional country music, there's some rock music, there's um, just anything and everything that you might be interested in. We even have a Native American uh, show, uh, the band is called Brule, and it is beautiful Native American music. Uh, we have some concerts, um, we have another Brule concert which was filmed in front of Mount Rushmore, that is just phenomenal. I mean, it, you need to not miss that, that's for sure. They also have another show um, called Hidden Heritage. The main person, Paul, uh, who is in Brule, was adopted when he was a child, and he was one of the Native Americans that was taken from the reservation um, back in the, I guess, 50s. And when his parents passed away and they cleaned out his house, they found his adoption papers and realized that he was a Native American. He never knew that. And so the TV show Hidden Heritage is about how he, as somebody who grew up thinking that he was white, mid-American guy, was actually Native American, and how does he now blend those two things together? And, I mean, that's just a knockout show to see that. And then we recently started doing some music videos because – we were having a conversation about how there's no music videos anymore and hey why don't we add them so we started doing some of those which is really great we've got sarah b who's from new orleans area a friend of mine on here we have kelly lang with her beautiful song how came into broken heart which she did with olivia newton john marty stewart who has a bunch of new things coming out we have his show country star on there's a lot of lot of, of advertise i mean a lot of um great music videos there um, we have faith programming. Um, the faith program has been quite interesting because, you know, we thought, you know, there's two or three big networks that do faith programming, but it would be nice to have some good faith programming on there, not necessarily preaching programming, but uh, feel good faith programming. And we've been filling that out really nicely. We have some great, great shows on there. We have cartoons, we have talk shows, we have outdoor programming, health and fitness. Uh, sports and adventure <clears throat> if you're a sports person we have a show on here called from glory days and kurt david created this show and it is sports figures who made a lot of money when they were on their teams but how did they stay successful when that sporting was over how how did they keep their money how did they make their money because so many people blow it uh, it's really a very interesting show um, we have travel and leisure and business. Um, we started putting some radio shows on, um, which has been kind of nice. Um, documentaries, we have rural, equine, and veteran programming. Um, history, I mean, I, I can go on and on and on with all this. We even have art programming. If you want to learn how to, to paint something, we have some of the, the famous guys, uh, Bill Alexander, Tom Alexander, but we have a section, too, where you can go in if you want to learn how to just paint a mountain or the ocean. Uh, they have shorts that teach you how to do that. You know, we put on some podcasts, and we have classic TV, which is really great. So we have some Andy Griffith, Dragnet, Ozzy Harriet, um, a ton of those great old shows. I mean, you can't not have those. And classic comedy, Petticoat Junction. We have Betty White, The Hill Hillbillies. Red Skeleton Show, The Lucy Show, and then, of course, the classic westerns like Bonanza and Rifleman, Roy Rogers. And then we have, a lot of, oh, we have a lot of black and white westerns and some colored westerns. And then we also have some movies from the 30s and 40s. We have a lot of Christmas programming. You can tell I'm zooming through this fast. <laughs> there's so much. You know, there's so much. But, I mean, I think there's a little bit of something for everybody. You know, it's really great. We have Positively Paula on. Paula Dean, who I just absolutely love. Everyone does. She's great. Firehouse Kitchen and the Firehouse Kitchen show is a unique show. The gentleman is a firefighter and he goes around to the firehouses around the country and cooks with the guys in the firehouses. So, I mean, there's just some interesting programming, a little bit different maybe than most places. So we're pretty proud of our programmers and what we put together. Yes, ma'am. And Kelly, I know 
like you mentioned a couple of things, you're offering some original programming. What can you tell us about what is available so far and what's in the works and coming soon? Absolutely. We have a new show. Uh, We have a couple of, well, we have a lot of new shows. We have new shows getting added daily, but we have Bing Martelli, which is a, a family show. They're a quilting family. And it's just kind of their antics about what's going on. Uh, it's not airing any place else. We have Beach Billy Lifestyles, which is really a great show about a family who packs it all in and what you live at the beach and how they're surviving at the beach. Uh, we also have Shirley's Bi- Biblical Kitchen, uh, which is kind of a, it, it, she just started, it's also new, and it's about how to cook with uh, biblical grain, which is like kind of an interesting subject. I'm kind of interested in seeing those. Um, we have uh, you, some new music videos up. Um, new uh, individual things. You're going to see Brule, Hidden Heritage. Um, we have uh, The Art of the Song is on, on our network. Uh, Ronnie McDowell trying to scan through this. Sherry Lucas, the dog expert. Uh, that's an exclusive with us. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much. I'm trying to scan this as I go here. <laughs> um, we have Peter Nielsen. Uh, Peter Nielsen is a life coach. He's fantastic. He has a life coaching show. There's sections in there about nutrition, fitness, motivational Mondays. Uh, we have Good Food Matters with Janet Zapala, who's out of California, who is all about cooking great food. Uh, we have, uh, Al Bernstein, uh, Unplugged, which is, uh, Al Bernstein is a boxing guy on Showtime who's always uh, announced all the boxing. Um, His show's on ours. And then we have some other stuff coming up. There's so many, so many that are just exclusive to us. I mean, I can't even go crazy. But we have Down from the Mountain coming, the Midday, the Bijou Theater, Fireside Chat, Thunder Road, um, quite, quite a lot of things we have coming. So really looking forward to that. We're going to do a lot of, we have 28 productions that we have on our list that we're going to be creating. So hopefully that'll be really, really soon. All right. That does sound good. Now, do you have a a location where people can offer feedback on their thoughts on Canyon Star TV and maybe make suggestions of what they'd like to see? You know, they absolutely can. They can send those to me if they'd like. And my email is kellycant.com at canyonstar.tv. Very good. I just think like to know too that this is a free service. It doesn't cost you anything to come on. You just sign up with an email and create a password and you're in there. And Very we don't good. share our emails with anybody. They're all private. Excellent, excellent. And you can use it for anything with a screen, like Kelly mentioned earlier. Get it wherever you download your apps. And, Kelly, is there anything else you want to touch on about Canyon Star TV? Listen, I think that we're we're new, um, pretty new. We're growing. I think that, yeah, give us a chance. Come on, take a look, stay a while, play on it, um, watch some of the shows. Some of them, I think, are worth, definitely worth binging. So take a look. Give us a chance. Excellent. And where can fans keep up with all the news and information about Canyon Star TV online and on social media? We are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and we're about to be having a Twitter soon, but you can find everything on Canyon Star TV under all those. Well, I know it's an exciting time as things start really taking off for you guys, so congratulations. I wish you great success in the future. Kelly Kantz, I appreciate you taking the time, ma'am. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have fun 